Hello, Internet. So, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Internet. So, yeah. As much as it pains me to say it, I was wrong about the whole comic book thing. You know... To, to you know, make a short, a long story short, I was basically just you know, I've I've had a lot of pent up, like frustration and anger about you know, the, the horrible mishandling of like some of my favorite comic properties that were turned into movies and just like butchered, or just like how they're doing really good the first two movies and the third movie it's like what what the f that was that was terrible like what the f man that was ah and just. Scarred for life now. I can never, no longer watch like live action superhero movies. It's just, I can't do it. Like people say, oh, the Avengers is awesome. Oh, the Avengers, blah blah blah. But it's like point one. I don't really like the Avengers anyway, so f them. And part point two. Now that now that this has been ruined for like ever, it's like well, I, sh- I could just not worry about it. And so you know, I went back to you know heal my wounds of comic bookdom being ruined in movies, and I was like, you know. Maybe I should do some research, and and you know, I I like comics, so you know it's like I, I, what, what happened to the sudden change where I was just like ranting and raving about oh they're terrible and what happened? I was like there's there's, there's got to be something wrong here. So you know, of course it's the research, and it's like you know friggin' Wikipedia. It's like all right, so you know live action li- live action movies based on uh, Marvel Marvel characters and stuff. Because, you know, all the, all the DC ones are kind of like, meh, except for Batman, because, you know, I love me some Batman. And besides Batman, it's like, who cares about everybody else over there? Sorry. It's like, you know, it's like going through the lineup of the Justice League. It's like, hmm, Green Arrow, eh. uh, Wonder Woman, eh. S- Superman, I hate that guy. F that guy. F him. Uh, Martian Manhunter, eh. Green Lantern, he's, he's okay, but, I mean, he's no Batman. It's it's like, whatever. It's like, Green Green Lantern, eh. he's He's cool, but, you know, he's... Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's no Batman, that's for sure. Um, and everybody else is like, whatever. Just yeah, yeah. Just not as appealing. Doesn't, doesn't have that that like awesome. I see. I have like nostalgia with Batman because of the amazing 1990 whatever whatever Batman animated series. Like one of the best animated cartoons of all time. Just oh, I could watch that all day and just it's so good, so good. And you know, yeah. And with the the uh, you know new. Batman Begins, Batman Dark Knight, Batman Dark Knight Rises. That that's just like so good and just like the, yeah, so good. Just like nothing else comes close. It's like man, just I don't even need to watch another live action superhero film because yeah, all that awesomeness in the new Batman cannot be eclipsed. So, so they just yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Blade that was pretty good. X Men I like that. Blade two even better than the first one. Spider Man liked it. Daredevil liked it as well. Uh, X Two, I thought it was. I thought it was even better than the first movie. Okay, and then we move on to Angley's Hulk. Eh, it was okay. Whatever. Punisher, not that bad. You know, it's Punisher. It was, it hit all the notes. What can I say? Uh, Spider Man Two, enjoyed that as well. Played Trinity, I've not seen. Electra, I didn't really like that. It was. It was okay. Not as good as Daredevil. I was like, eh, that's kind of weak. It was. It's not like terrible, terrible, but not you know. It, it's like somewhere in the middle to like lower than the middle, but like somewhere like between par and subpar. It's like eh, it's, it's all right, whatever. Um, Fantastic Four. I don't like the Fantastic Four, so eh, whatever. And then, like I saw it on TV somewhere one one time, and like the end, I was like, what? That that was terrible. I'm never watching that movie ever again. Uh, X Men: The Last Stand. Oh, killed it, killed it, totally just. And by killed it, I mean the bad kind, as in I no longer love comic This is the one that did it in for me. This one, Spider-Man 3, it's like the double team of, oh, that was a terrible end of the X-Men trilogy, like live-action trilogy. I was like, what, what, what the hell just happened here? Like, no, just left and right, no, no, terrible, terrible, just, ah, <sighs> yeah. Uh, and then like, Spider-Man 3, man, it, was, it wasn't that bad, but it was just... Uh, it, it was. It's like I, I, I. It's like I wanted to th- in my mind. I'm like, it's not that bad. But then I go back and watch it. I'm like, oh, this movie. That ah, oh, just uh, it, uh, it's like I, I want to say it's not that bad, but it's like I watch it and I'm, I'm just cringing and I'm like, oh, it's painful. Uh, Ghost Rider. I haven't seen like in that and because of that, all these other movies on here I haven't seen. I haven't seen Ghost Rider. I haven't seen the other Fantastic Four movie. But it's like Fantastic Four. Eh, never liked him anyway. 
And, you know, Punisher Warzone. I think I have that on DVD, but I've, I've yet to watch it. I probably will, just because, you know, it's Punisher. I love Punisher. Even if these other movies have ruined my liking of live-action <laughs> superhero movies. <laughs> and then uh, X-Men Origins will ruin. I've never, I haven't seen that because of this movie. Or those Spider-Man 3 and X-Men Last Stand. Same thing with X-Men First Class. I saw it on TV one day. I was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. Huh. But then there's like a lot of stuff. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Why is there a frost here? Dot, dot, dot. With Havoc, what? what's going on? Whatever. License with property. What have you. Um, any other Ghost Rider movie I haven't seen? Amazing Spider-Man. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm not over Spider-Man, but it's like, uh, on film, I don't really think there's like that much more that can be done with Spider-Man. It's like, okay, he's, we, like, I mean, we all know the story. It's like, okay, he gets bit by a spider, and then you just go through his rogues gallery, and it's like, come on, like, they're not even trying. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's like, I'm, I don't need to watch any more live action movies of Spider-Man because they're all kind of the same. That's, that's what I'm getting at. It's like, okay, yeah, pretty much. And I mean, the two before the third Spider-Man movie were, were pretty good, and I was like, oh well, nowhere to go but down. I guess that's, that's probably what it is. It's like, they're, they're so good. The only one, the ones that follow it, you're just. Not, yeah, just cannot live up to it. And then, uh, yeah, well, I'm on this list on Wikipedia, and it's totally, like, missing, uh, The Avengers, but whatever. So, that movie, I totally, oh, here we go, there's, there's more on here. Iron Man, haven't seen it. Incredible Hulk, haven't seen it. Iron Man 2, haven't seen it. Thor, haven't seen it. Captain America, haven't seen it. And The Avengers, haven't seen it. I might watch Captain America and Thor on Netflix, because they're both on there, and it's like, well, no, we're gonna have to pay for it, so hmm. So yeah. Have have missed out on all those awesome movies because, you know X Men three and Spider Man three just ruined it for me. And, and because of that taint of terribleness ha ha I said taint <laughs> I was all like, Oh, well you know these movies are terrible and I kinda like the I kinda like the comics and, and the characters, but it's mostly based off like cartoons that I watched from back in the day. So maybe I should just be like, whatever, comics and F them and they move on. But then the crazy thing happened and like one of my friends on Facebook, Buff Larkin, his his all doing his YouTube thing about comics and stuff, and I was like, Oh, well, I've been out of the game since nineteen ninety six. Let's see what's going on in comics right now. <laughs> so so yeah, I'm all watching this video on YouTube, and then like on the sidebar, there's some video about, um, so, getting into comics, blah 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 blah, Comic Book Girl 19, and I was like, oh, let me watch this video, and it's very, it's very entertaining and hilarious, and, you know, I was intrigued, and then I checked out the channel, I was like, oh, there's a bunch of other cool videos on this channel, let me subscribe, subscribe, been watching it, and then like, a couple, actually it wasn't a couple weeks ago. I was like looking through all the old videos one day, and I was like, "Well, this is Avengers versus X Men thing. I wonder what's up with that." So check it out. Stuff goes down, and like it's a, it's a really great synopsis video. And I was like, "Wow, I am now totally pumped to like find out what the f is going on here." And then you know, doing some research, some more. And then like beyond the research, I was like, "Well, I did watch that astonishing X Men digital motion comic, and that's pretty cool." So. I watched the rest of those, and I gotta say, motion comics, I do enjoy. But before I move on from, <laughs> from motion comics, I must say, you know, I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was very wrong in what I said in the last video about comic books, because, you know, there's a lot of artistry that goes into making them, and, like, the, the visual imagery is very, very fantastic, what they do... You know, very very gifted people that have skills I do not, and I'm I'm I bow down to them, and they're just yeah, way heads and shoulders above what I can do. I can just draw a stick figure and be like, all right, stick figure, yeah, let's do it, and then go to town on that. Yeah, go to town with my stick figure. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I would say motion comics. If like you have any interest in comic books, check those out because to me it was like a good medium or a good middle ground. I'm sorry, between like comic book and cartoon, to where it's like there's no text bubbles, but you still have like the or I guess like okay, another aside is like whenever I'd watch like behind the scenes stuff on DVDs and they show storyboards, I was like, well, those are a lot like comic books. 
But then, like, comic books, it's like, you have, you have text bubbles to, like, know what the people are saying and stuff. So it's like, you get all the detail from, like, all the images, but you also get, like, all the dialogue story or whatever, whatever. So then, like, um, on the, uh, what was it? On, like, the motion comics, it's cool because, like, not only do you get, like, a bit of motion, which you don't get in comic books because they're static images, you get, like, uh, talking instead of the, or the dialogue as opposed to the, the yeah, speech bubbles, but, like, the way it's presented and, like, the way the panel's, like, moving and stuff is really, like, cool. It has, like, it still has, like, the feel of a comic book. And then, like, not only that, it has, like, the, uh, what is that? I guess, like, the sound in the periphery, so it's, like, sound beyond just the characters talking and, like, the the world becomes more alive as you're, like, looking in. It's, like, yeah, it's kind of, like, well, the analogy I'm trying to make is, like, when you're watching a movie and you're, like, looking into a window into a world as, like, opposed to just, you know, looking into a a screen or, like, a, I'm looking on a canvas and this, this, this painting is coming to life, blah, blah, blah. So, it's like that, and then, you know, you got awesome, you know, special effects going on, or not special effects, but, like, art is so amazing from, like, be- like, like battle scenes go down. It's like, oh, man, Cyclops totally just shot that dude with his optic blast. That was awesome. And just, yeah. Um, yeah. Motion comics, they're pretty cool. And they pulled me back in. I was like, all right, well, I like motion comics. So I guess I'll, I'll do some more research because I, t- <laughs> I felt so bad after I trashed comic books in that video. I was like, man, man, I feel bad. I was, I was so... I was so blinded by my rage for X Men Three and ah uh, X Men Three. Why? <laughs> why? Why X Men Three? But like you know, I I love the X Men. So it's like ah, it's like it pains me. The pain, the pain it can never be restored. What they did to the X Men in that third movie. It's like they they ah ah just terribleness. But moving on, you know, checked out some comics and I was like, oh okay, it's pretty cool. Um. Actually, what happened was, that's not what happened, because, you know, like I said, 1996, I've been at the game for a while, and a couple of years ago, I read Watchmen, because, you know, I was like, well, I want to go see this movie, but I'm not going to, because everything's been ruined, thanks, X-Men 3, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I read that, and I was like, holy crap, this is amazing, this book, this book's incredible, and just so good, and it's like, top of my list, like... Graphic novel, just amazing, just even compared to other novels and short stories and other long form books I've read, I was like, oh, that was really good. So I was like, okay, okay, you know, it's, it's good. But this is like years ago, this is like before I went on this whole crazy rant of comic books are terrible, but then I was like, wait a minute, Tekken, you can't just be all F comics when you totally read Watchmen and like gushed all over and fell in love with it, so I was like, okay, whatever. So then I was all like doing some research after the whole comic book girl 19 thing, and I was like, okay. Avengers vs. X-Men. Stuff goes down, and then, like, you know, Mar- like, DC had, like, this reboot, you know, New 52 and stuff, but like I said, there, there's very few characters in that, in there, like, besides, like, all the Batman characters, like, Batman, Nightwing, Batwing, Robin, Batman, or Batman and Robin, Catwoman, Batgirl, like, besides all the bad people, <laughs> bad people, it's like, I don't care about those people, it's like, DC can suck it. It's like, whatever. Just, eh, no, 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 the characters I care about. It's like, just injustice. I look at that game, it's like, okay, whatever. It's, eh. I, like, when it's 20 bucks, I'll pick it up, but day one, no way. It's like, I don't, I don't, it's like, it's like, who, like, what are you more hyped for? Are you, I, I'm sorry. I, I asked this question to myself before, I, you know. Don't, that's, like, yeah, I'm not talking to you, audience. I'm talking, but like, I had asked my question this, like, thinking about this game to myself. Which, which are you more hyped for, Tekken? Are you more hyped for Injustice? Or are you more hyped for Marvel vs. Capcom 1, 2, or 3? It's like, it's, it's obvious you're more hyped for Marvel vs. Capcom! Because that game, amazing! And like, yeah, just more characters you care about. Whereas you look at Injustice, and it's like, okay, Batman, Bane, Harley Quinn, the, eh, whatever, the usual suspects. It's like, eh, whatever. It's like, you know, where Marvel vs. Capcom. Well, I'm not going to bring in, like, the whole Capcom side of things, but, like, the Marvel side, all those characters, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. And, like, they even have, like, weird characters. It's, like, Wreck of Raccoon. I didn't even know who that dude was. Or, like, uh, that <laughs> Tyranodon Pterodactyl thing. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll move on. This, this, this is an aside that does not need to be discussed. But, you know, 
I just I'm just trying to get the point. That I prefer Marvel over DC. It's like that. That's what would suck me in if I was ever to redeem my non-hate of comics, which I did not hate comics. It was just a it was just a projecting my hatred for X Men Three because who that movie? Who just ruined it? Ruined it? Ruined my childhood? Yes, just like the terrible Spider Man movie ruined my childhood. And if you want to see an awesome, amazing version of Spider Man, check out Spider Man on Netflix. The Fox, uh, cartoon from like 1994 to 1997, or if you want to see an awesome X-Men cartoon and story arcs, check out the X-Men cartoon from 1992 to 1996, which have like all four volumes, like four or five volumes on DVD because that's how much I love that show and that's how awesome it is. But back on track, Avengers vs. X-Men, stuff goes down and I was like, dude, dude, that was pretty epic. And then, luckily enough, just like I said, like, you know, DC had their New 52, and I was like, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll check out all the Batman books, and, like, Batman Beyond, because I love Batman Beyond as well. Awesome cartoon, by the way. I was like, well, since since there's only Batman in DC, as I was, as I was researching, I was like, oh, the only character in this, or in this side I care about is Batman, so, hmm, that's like a one-trick pony. And then it's like on DC, or Marvel, it's like, oh, well, I've always loved X-Men, and Punisher, and Spider-Man, so... I guess I'll just, you know, go over there and check those out. And then, you know, I checked it out. I did, I, oh, what, okay, so here I am on Comic, Comixology in my archives page. Like, these are all the comics I've read. Like, Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Like, I was I was not sure what to expect here because, you know, I'd heard I'd heard some things. People have been like, oh, it's not Peter Parker, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I, I enjoyed it, I must say. I thought it was pretty cool, even though it's like... The first issue I read was, like, issue 23 or 22 or something, so I have, like, no idea how he got his powers, and he can, like, be invisible, and I was like, what's up with that, and stuff, and I was like, whatever, I don't care, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I enjoy this new Spider-Man, he's all, like, jumping around, being like, oh, I'm, sp- I'm the new sp- hotness Spider-Man, I was like, oh, Peter Parker never say that, Miles Morales, you're cool to me, and I enjoy your comic and dialogue, a winner is you, I am in, and then, you know, I also check, oh, also, in the side, watch my comics, uh, X Men and Spider Man are like completely different universe from like all these other comics, so it's like I'm about to do these first before I talk about the other ones. And then you know Ultimate Comics X Men because Ultimate, you know if you don't if you don't know the Ultimate Comics universe is basically permadeath. You die, you're dead forever. And like, it like X Men have been decimated. Like Wolverine's dead. Freaking a bunch of other people are dead. There's only like a like very few mutants. It's really weird. It's like it's like how. The X Men War in six one six before the events, or, or rather before the end of, of Avengers vs X Men, where the Phoenix Force is basically repowered people that had the X gene and they're like popping up. But I gotta say, I, I see. I was ex- I was expecting that to like cause the storylines in the new six one six comics that are X Men to like not be awesome and just be like, oh, this is lame. It's just gonna be the same old mutants. Blah 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 blah. But I guess like it's like since it's going on after the whole like, uh, like era <laughs> after the whole decimation thing where like there's like very few mutants. It's like now it's like a race to like get all the new mutants, or at least for Cyclops. Anyway, he's like I gotta get get, get this mutant team formed. We're gonna re- re- he's it's just really crazy what they're doing with Cyclops. Like I say, I'm very enjoying the terrorist revolutionary <laughs> Cyclops <laughs> and his like chaotic good. Like oh. I'm not evil, but I'm doing bad things. It's like, it's so good, because it's like, he's not like a villain yet. He's just like, he's like very borderline. He's like so close, so close to being a villain. But like, he has not done like anything like too terrible yet. So it's like, man, it's like it's so good. And just, I'm, I'm, I'm getting hit of myself here. But yeah, Ultimate Comics X-Men, checked it out. It's like the first two I've read, like the, the first one was like the X-Men were on a reservation cam because, you know, they, they, Everybody hates mutants in that in that universe, <laughs> and then like, uh, well, they have their like own island, I guess, on Utopia. I I don't even know if it's called Utopia in that one, but it's like it was the same area and same like island place or whatever. So yeah, and then the other one was like just a um rin- rin- yeah, reminiscing issue with Storm after the camps and stuff getting captured with Cyclo or uh, Colossus, and they like broke out, and then uh. He killed some dude or something, and then they had to, like, split and stuff, and she was, like, searching for him. She couldn't find him or whatever, and she doesn't know if she took the mutant cure, cure or not. It's like, oh, man, what happened? 
I was like, oh man, I enjoyed that. Like, and then the other thing was like, I was like blew through those issues so fast. I was like, you know, I've, <laughs> I've given my eyeballs rest outside of like the insane amount of time I spend on the internet reading things since it's like a text only, you know, uh, interface. <laughs> It was like I didn't read any like books or anything or literature for like a long time. I came back in and reading all these awesome stories about Spider Man, X Men. I'm like, oh man, I completely forgot how how much of a joy it was to read sometimes. And then um, so you know, I read that. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. And then um, let's see. So okay, also, I guess I I uh, <laughs> I was researching. I was researching on Wikipedia, and I was like, okay. Let me look at Marvel Now. So I was like, Marvel Now, do 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 do, and then basically I was like looking up all this info, and so it's like last last October, I believe. Yeah, last October basically was when they started rolling out all the stuff that was happening after Avengers vs X Men. So it's like a perfect jumping on time. So I was like, okay, let me look at the list, the lineup. So we have Uncanny Avengers, and I've never been that big of an Avengers fan, so I was like, eh. But then it's half X-Men, so it's like, half X-Men, half Avengers, I was like, I'm down with that, I, I can get with that, but then I had, I waited a bit before I, like, picked up all the issues, because I was like, eh, I'm still not sold, so I'm like, I let me read all this cool X-Men stuff first to get all the good stuff out of the way before I, like, in case this is terrible, <laughs> and the X-Men stuff was awesome, which I will get to, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, and then, you know, so it's now, Kenny Avengers, I'm in, and then we have A plus X, which is, like, an anthology book, there's no real, like, storyline, it's more of a team-up every issue of like two two teams one is like two x-men and, or i'm sorry so there's 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 two stories of like four of two people so it's four characters every book so the first one was uh and then like each story is like one x-man and one avenger so the first book is uh you have hulk and wolverine and in, in, in part one and then part two well, I could have this wrong. I don't know who's part one, who's part two, but whatever. And then the other story is uh, Captain America and Bucky team up with Cable in the past, which was pretty cool because they're fighting like these retro Sentinels that have been made by like Nazi forces. Yeah, yeah, Nazi forces. Nazi forces. Because some dude came back with like time travel. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and it was like weird, but it's cool at the same time because like the the Sentinels were like all like retro and like not super modern. Like, oh, they can totally kill. <laughs> or like wreck the crap out of a mutant if they like saw one. It's like, oh, that doesn't look very uh, menacing at all. <clears throat> okay, all new X Men. This book, I would say, this is my number two. I I will wait until I get more more issues of Uncanny X Force because that one I'm really enjoying. But there's not. It's like it's a monthly. I think cause I've just ah, I, I'm really looking forward to Uncanny X Force, but like there's not enough issues. But like all new X Men, really cool concept because. Beast goes back. Oh, oh I, I guess I never said what happened. Okay, so basically, I'm not going to spoil it. You can look look it up for yourself, or you can just like read these comics I'm going to be talking about. But there's like a big thing that happens at the end of Avengers vs X Men that I will like keep talking around because it's like totally spoilery if you haven't like th- heard about it or read about it. And so like stuff goes down, and then like after that happens, and then after the Phoenix like brings back mutants, there's like a race. Oh, not a race. Okay, there kind of is a race on, depending on whose side you're on. <laughs> it's like from from your perspective of the character, it's like okay, the, some people are like racing to like get these mutants and some ra- stuff. It's like it's okay. I'll just the universe is an upheaval. Six one six is an upheaval. Like people are like, okay, we got to get these mutants and we got to get them on our side, with Cyclops or some mutants that are like getting powers. Are like, oh, I don't know what this is. I need to go to the school of. <laughs> the junior school of higher learning and then that and then like that's why we have like an un- influx of characters in the uh, or not characters but like uh students in the uh, Wolverine and the X-Men and then you also have like uh <sighs> um just like stuff happening from that like uncanny X-Men happens when like it's pretty cool with it it's interesting what they did cuz like I I did not see them taking this cuz like I knew before I read it that Red Skull was going to be like the villain but I wasn't sure how they were going to handle that and so, like, what he does is, like, he does something that <laughs> ties into the end of <laughs> Avengers vs. X-Men, which I can't talk about. And so, like, he gets, like, this power that he's never had before, but makes him, like, super uber-powered and, like, really able to just, like, cause mass chaos extremely fast. And so, like, 
Manhattan basically in like the first three issues is just like he gains control of like or like yeah I'm not gonna say how but you understand why like if you check out the Uncanny X Men he's basically influencing a ton of people and then like gets them to do like stuff to mutants and like just chaos is or there's like chaos city little that chaos city wide and like stuff's going down and like. Mutants are all be- getting beaten up and stuff, and then like the Uncanny Avengers have to come in, like half Avenger, half mutant team, and save the day and like prevent it. But then he gets away, so he can like still come back and do it again. And they're like, "Oh man!" But then it's crazy. I'm ca- I, I'm completely I'm compl- I always do this. I'm completely like off of what I was just talking about. I'm not even I'm talking about all new X Men, but like <laughs> Uncanny Avengers. Like he, there's like a flash forward. It's like three months later and then like Scarlet Witch and Havoc are on the run and then like this crazy reveal at the very end the final panel and it's like holy crap issue number four I want to I want to see if like is it going to be after after that takes place or is it going to be back to three months before that happens so that'll be crazy but then I guess if it's like three months before you already know what's going to happen so hmm I guess I guess we'll just see how we get there all right all new X-Men Loving it. What happens is, like, because of what happens after Avengers vs. X-Men, Beast goes in the future, and he's like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the original four. Or was it five? Let's see. Beast, Angel, Cyclops, Iceman, Jean Grey. The original five, bring them back to present times, and try to, like, change change Cyclops' behavior, because dude has just lost it, and, like, off the deep end completely like lost his like sense of uh altruisticness and goodness (laughs) and and, which is which is crazy because like when you're reading uncanny x-men which just follows scott's team like he doesn't think that he's like no i'm still right i'm in the right i'm doing what's right like i know what i'm doing like i'm in control and just it's crazy chaotic good all the way just i I love it i love new psychops it's so good and then like um okay on X Men, Beast brings back old X Men to present times, and they're all like completely. Oh, it's it's so good. Basically, I'm I'm gonna do another video about this, and like it's gonna be reviewing all the issues I'm reading because ah, on X Men so good. But basically, they come back, they freak the f out because like you know, in the in the past they're all like, oh, we're in Charles Xavier's school for gifted mutants, blah 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 blah, saving the world, everything's gonna be great in the future, and they come to the future, and it ain't so great. Everybody hates them. Mutants still are hated. It's like, peace has never happened. It's like, oh, the coexistence with humans. It's like, it, it never happened. Never came to fruition. It's like, and then like, it's like, you know, knowing that, would you want to go back to the past and be like, oh, well, if it never happens, why are we still fighting to peace and blah, 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 blah. It's like, why, why do we even bother? Blah, blah, blah. And like, if all this crazy stuff's going to happen to us in the future, because, you know, some of them are dead, some, or some of them died, or maybe you, have, you maybe you die a lot, even if you're resurrected. And it's like, you wouldn't want to live a few life like that, because that would be terrible. It's just, ah, so good. Oh, no, X-Men, I'm living it. Uh, Deadpool, I read issue one. I gotta say, I'd never read a Deadpool book before, and I, I'm not too knowing about Deadpool, but everybody seems to like him. I don't know. Ish, issue one was okay. It was kind of off the rails, not my taste, too too whimsical and out there for me, but I bought, like, the first four issues, <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck with reading the rest of them to see. Hopefully, if, like, if I don't like the rest of them, I'm just, like, I'll just drop the book and, like, not read anymore, but it was, it was, there were some funny parts, but it was, uh, all in all, it was not my cup of tea. Oh, also, there's, like, Comixology, which is the service I'm using, had, like, 700 number one issues for free, but it crashed their servers, so, you know, until that comes back... I was able to get, like, the Marvel Now stuff for free, at least, so yay to that. So I actually do have, like, Captain America number one, but I haven't read it. And, like, Fantastic Four and FF number one. Haven't read those, though. Like, all the number one stuff I haven't read that I got for free, so I'm just going to skip over these books. Because I haven't checked them out because they're not X-Men, so it's like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and Fantastic Four I could really care less about. It's like, whatever, just not... No, I don't care about those guys anymore. Um, it's Hulk, he's an Avenger. I don't really care about the character, so... Hmm. Iron Man, I did pick up because I love me some Iron Man. And I've not read it, though, so that's the sad part, is I have, like, yeah, I have all these comics for Iron Man, but I have not read that stack yet, so not yet. Thor Heard's good, but I haven't read that number one, and I'm probably not gonna, yeah, get into that. X-Men Legacy, I'm, I'm kinda, I'm kinda interested in it, but then it, it's, like, it's following, um, 
Professor X's son, and then, you know, Legion. I, he has, like, multiple personalities, though, so I kind of wanted to read it, but then, like, knowing he has multiple personalities, I'm like, that would be a weird read, but it might be a good read. So I probably will check it out just because it's an X-Men book, and because it's, like, it, it might have stuff that ties into the other stuff going on right now with, like, new mutants popping up and craziness all, all the way around. All right, and then... Okay, I'll skip over the, all this Avengers stuff that I haven't read. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't read it. Avengers Arena, I haven't read it. Killing the X-Force. Loving this book. Like, I just read all the issues, like, all the first five issues, um, for, or first four or five issues, like, uh, Sunday, or Saturday and Sunday. It was really, it was really good. Like, Cable is, like, dude, the time travels. So, already, I'm like, okay, futuristic dude, soldier, time traveling. And then, like, that wasn't, the, like, the only part. He's basically, like, a Black Ops dude who, like, does stuff that's, like, Hmm, questionable. But then the cool thing is that like issue one is like him and his team are basically at odds with the uncanny Avengers because stuff goes down and now he's like on the run from them. So it's like, oh no, man, what's going to happen there? It's like, ah, it's, that was the other cool thing. Like since I had not read comics in such a long time, like it was really cool, like reading multiple books of like the same like story arc or just the same like, timeline, storylines tying in together, like, because you had, like, in, uh, I haven't got this far yet, wow, I'm, I'm gushing all over this stuff, and, like, I'm just all over the place, I'm sorry, but, like, in, uh, all new X-Men, there's, like, parts where, like, they were talking, or, like, you have the old, the original X-Men come to the Jean Grey school, and they're meeting all these new students that are in the, um, Wolverine in the X-Men book, because Wolverine is basically the headmaster of X, of the, uh, of, the uh, headmaster now at the Jean Grey school. Well, so is Storm, but they totally explain that in uh, Uncanny, X- eh, Uncanny X-Force, which I'll get to. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, I came on the X-Force, it's cool. It's like, it, I don't, I'm trying to think of how to describe this. It, it's just like, if you have like a team of mutants that are like doing secret missions that are like on the run, I'm trying to think of like, like I don't, I don't want to see the A team, but it is kind of like not, but not. It kind of is, but not the A team because it's like they're always like on the run, doing these crazy, <laughs> crazy missions, and then just like getting out of there just in time to like evade the the authorities. And then it's cool, like what what the the like the the curveball in this story is that like Cable, like in the beginning of the the uh, the book or the series, he had like these crazy headaches. And then, like, he brings in Dr. Nemesis to, like, uh, heal him. And then, like, Dr. Nemesis is like, dude, dude, you're dying. You're, like, having, like, your brain is, like, uh, what's that word? Your, your brain is, like, swelling inside your skull, and you're slowly dying over time, whatever. But then, like, he's also, like, after he... It's weird, because, like, it talks about some sort of, like, techno-organic virus thing that Cable had that he didn't have or that he does have or something that he, like, cured him of or something... And then, like, uh, freaking, like, they're doing that stuff to, like, save him because his brain was whatever. And then Dr. Nemesis is like, okay, it's like, okay, dude, I, I totally fixed it. <laughs> and then, like, uh, now Cable has, like, these crazy visions of the future. Cause, like, the first issue is, like, he has this headache. And, like, you see, like, because uh, Hope, his adopted daughter, comes in and, like, does, like, the rogue thing where, like, she touches him gets his, like, memory to, like, see what's going to happen, and he's, like, having this flashback, or, or not flashback, but, like, this vision, it totally happens, goes down, like, Mammy Beach, Beach gets attacked by this crazy techno-organic thing, and then, like, he has another vision later on, which is really cool, because he's had, like, three visions, and, like, they've all come to fruition. Like, the first one was, like, a, uh, like, this beach attack thing. Second one was, like, way into the future, where, like, alternate reality, he saw, like, uh, some anti-mutant lady was gonna, like, uh, sabotage your company and, like, infect the virus, this virus on, like, the human population and, like, blame it on mutants. But then, like, they they totally, like, go into, like, the, uh, processing plant of that company to stop it and they, I think they stopped it. They, they stop it, but they find out that it wasn't the lady that was doing it. And then, like, you have, like, this, it, this thing going on where, like, you have the, um, like, the audience has, like, insight into the story to, like, where freaking stuff's going down, and, like, uh... 
<laughs> so stuff's going down, and like you get this panel where like there's some dude in the shadows that's like, all right, everything's going to our plan and stuff. So that happens, and then he has like this third crazy vision where it's like the Avengers in space. There's some spaceship they're flying to with like a bunch of other sp- spaceships to like this giant space war thing. And he's like, holy crap! I have another vision. It's just as just as cl- cataclysmic as the last vision I had, and it's just like, yeah, we have no idea what that third vision is yet. <laughs> he's just like telling Doctor Nemesis, dude, we have to build a spaceship because like Doctor Nemesis is like, dude, I'm out. I don't want any more of this crazy team. You guys are crazy. I'm the F- I'm getting the F out of here, and like, and then. It- <laughs> But then, like, Cable tells him that, he's like, okay, fine, I'll build a spaceship. That that sounds fun. I'm, I'll stick around, whatever. That's, that's pretty funny. But yeah, moving along from Cable and the X-Force, which I'm enjoying, even though I totally just pushed over it, which is a good sign, because I'm totally enjoying that book. Um, Thunderbolts. I gotta say, I was enjoying this book at first, but, like, after reading everything I'm reading now that's, like, X-Men... Thunderbolts told, is like half a notch lower than everything else. It, it's like it's still a good read. It's just not not as good as everything else. Like it's it's a fun book. It's a nice Black Ops team, but it ain't no X Force. Like you don't have Cable. You don't have you don't have Domino. You don't have Forge. You don't have Colossus. Doctor Nemesis. It's like, which is funny because on paper this book sounded so amazing. Like I read this 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 Wikipedia synopsis. It's all like, oh you know this is going to be a team of Deadpool, Elektra, Punisher, Venom. Led by Red Hulk. And it's like, what? That sounds freaking awesome. Like, how can that not be awesome? And it was pretty good, I gotta say. Though, like, towards the end of their first mission, it's kind of, like, lagging. And, you know, hopefully it picks up. Let's see what happens with, like, the leader. And like, apparently, I guess they're like, getting, like, one more squad mate in the ne- next book. So, you know, I'm probably picking that up tomorrow and hoping that it does uh, not disappoint. It's been pretty good, though, so far. It's, like, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It just, like, you know, all these other Xbox just killed it. And I was like, wow, I'll just... Thunderbolts went down like half a notch because <laughs> it just it was good, but it wasn't that good. All right, and then January, uh, some new Marvel one, bleh, Marvel now books, uh, Morbius, Savage Wolverine, Superior Spider-Man, Uncanny X-Force, Young Avengers. Of this set, uh, Superior Spider-Man I picked up just because I like Spider-Man, and I cannot say what happens in Superior Spider-Man, so you're just going to have to read one issue to find out what yourself, but something happens at the end, the final issue of Amazing Spider-Man, which is like crazy how they would end it like that, but whatever, to like start off this Superior Spider-Man book, and it's like, wow, that's pretty cool and interesting, so that's totally why I'm into this book, it's like, it's crazy what they did, and I'm like, oh, how are they going to do this, and like, how long are they going to do this for before they like revert back, you know it's not going to like go this way for, at least I don't think it will, if it, like the longer it goes on, like the better it is in my opinion, so I'm, I'm really interested to like see how long they can uh, keep the suspension there. Um, Uncanny X-Force, loving this book, so basically, in a, wow, I'm like way, where is, oh, we're reading the X-Men, okay, no wonder, because it's on, it's on the bottom, okay, so basically, uh, like in this issue of Wolverine and the X Men, there's there's like this part <laughs> where Kitty Pride is basically taking um, com- uh, what's that word? Taking uh, hold on, I gotta turn my jar off. <laughs> okay, so Kitty Pride is looking for new. Uh, or they they need more 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 staff to fill out their school at the Jean Grey School of Higher Learning. So Kitty Pride is all like, "All right, I'm <laughs> I'm having uh, interviews with, with people to like get this last space filled." And it's kind of funny because they have some cameos from some characters. Like you have Blade show up, you have Firestorm show up, and then um, but yeah, then Storm shows up. And she's like, "All right, Storm, you're here." And then like she's now like the other headmaster at the school, but then. Okay, this this is kind of unrelated to that <laughs> to that story. I just I just wanted to like get that in there, like of uh, like how she came back. But then, like in uh, Wolverine and the X Force, it's cool what happens because you have Psylocke, who apparently was like kicked out of the school because she kept butting heads with all the uh, students. So it's like, and then like Wolverine is basically like, dude, you need to chill out, and you can't, yeah, like you're just not suited to be the teacher here, and he like sends her off. <laughs> <laughs> of all things on like this secret mission which was really cool because I didn't I didn't know it was up with X-Force I, and like until I had like saw this video on um Comic Book Girl 19 thingy about how X-Force is basically an assassination squad <laughs> I was like 
<laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. So they're like the secret mutant assassination squad. And then like this this series runs team is Psylocke, Storm, Puck, and um let's see. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Oh, Cluster, which is basically one of the uh, one of the three thirds of Phantom X, which is a mutant who is like split into thirds, or not in the thirds. He has like a living central nervous system, three brains, and like each brain got a body because he was cloned to make use of those brains. So it's like he has good him, bad him, and female him. So I think Cluster is the female version of him. I'm, I think it's. I'm confused still. It's, it's a new character I've not seen before because it was in like it was in like a newer version of X Men sometime that was just made. So yeah, so it's like those four, and then it's cool. The first book I gotta say is really good because they go to L A. and then like they're on this lead of this care of this person that's like dealing drugs in this club, to like, uh, and like has this vault where they have something like hidden away, and then like. The, the drugs they're using is like basically keeping all the the people in the club under control, like through mind uh, control or whatever. And then like they go to they go to the club to find out it's Spiral, and then like it's it's crazy it's crazy what happens in that first book because like Psylocke just like flips out, attacks her, and is about to like kill her, but then like Spiral like sicks her her like her giant uh, crowd of like mind controlled people on her. And then, like, Storm's, like, opening the vault, gets it open with Puck, and they find out that, uh, like, in the vault is a mutant. So it's really cool because, like, it's like, okay, this mutant is, like, important or whatever, I'm guessing. Because, like, Spiral's all like, no, don't take her. And then, like, issue two com- comes in after, like, this fight with Spiral. And then, like, Spiral teleports away into this other building, and they're, like, fighting or whatever. And then, like, all of a sudden you have Bishop time time warp in, but then you can tell from, like, the dialogue that dude is not, like, in his right mind or doesn't seem to, like, be, be like... Yeah, the bishop is, like, either not in his right mind or is, like, being, like, bringing, like, mind control or something. So it's, like, obviously not the, not the same dude. So it's, like, bishop set, bishop's, in, bishops in play and then, like, freaking... He just, like, comes to, like, the, the place with, like, the mutant girl where, like, Psylocke and Spiral and all the X-Force are fighting. And then he just, like, decimates the room with, like, his crazy powers and just, like, kabloom, blammo, giant explosion... And so, like, uh, he's, like, he, since he's, like, from the future, and, like, he's talking about this girl, like, she's important, so it's, like, I'm wondering, like, you know, maybe in the future that child has, like, some sort of significance or what's going on there, but it's, like, why would she be brought, brought, bleh, be brought to the back, bleh, be brought back to the past when there's all these other mutants popping up to, like, maybe hide her so she doesn't get, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in what's going on here, like, what the story's there, I'm very, I'm very interested because that was pretty cool, like, what was going on. Um... Let's see. February, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have the first issue. I've not read it yet. I just... See, this is... This is, like, the other thing that got me back in the comics was that I saw on the internet, like, after the Avengers came out, was that there was a, uh... secret clip at the end of the Avengers with Thanos and stuff, and I was like, ooh, Infinity Gauntlet. So, I was like, ooh, I, that, 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 that totally just, like perked my interest like instantly because that is like a classic that is like it's like are they gonna do that again because that'd be crazy if they did that again and it looks like you know <laughs> things are headed to they're having, going to have like this crazy event happen and stuff's gonna go down because yeah <laughs> it just it just seems like that's like the natural order of how stuff works um and then uncanny x-men that that book i it's it's like I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I was because I didn't know what was going to happen because now that they've, like, repowered all the mutants and, like, flipped the on switch on and, like, there's mutants again, uh, basically, Cyclops is trying to get them all and, like, get, and be all, and be all, like, all right. It's, it's weird, though. It's, like, eh, it's so crazy. It's, it's hard to, I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm running out of gas here. But, like... <laughs> So, like, Cyclops back in the days was all, you know, Xavier's lucky scout boy, or boy scout boy, and then, like, um, I guess, I guess he just can't take anymore and just snaps them more along the line, 
and it became more militant and stuff. So that's pretty cool what they did. So it's not it's no longer about freaking like we got to save the humans and like help them. He's all like we got to start a revolution and like it, it's crazy what he's saying, but it's like everything he's saying like from his tone and like perspective is not like it's never in a it's never in the mold of we are like it's never like a conquestial like interest of we're gonna like destroy all the humans and kill them all or whatever it's always like i don't know it's, it's really weird i'm I'm, try, I'm hoping they get this more clear because it's like it's not 100 percent like bad chaotic bad evil it's just like he's doing like bad things well he's not doing anything bad yet but it's like he's doing good things but like not in the right mindset of like this is like where a altruistic <laughs> lawful good character would usually do it. It's like he's doing it from like a completely opposite perspective of like, oh, I'm gonna come in and just <laughs> wreck everybody. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. It's like it's like he feels so wrong from like the stuff that happened in Avengers vs. X Men. He's like, I don't care, we got more mutants now. If you kill me I'm just, I'm just gonna be a martyr for like the future <laughs> mutant revolution. <laughs> so he's like all in I have nothing to lose, just going at it. It's crazy. And then uh, what what I'm really pumped up for is uh, in April, there's going to be a new X-Men with an all-female cast, and it says that it's going to have Jubilee, Storm, Rogue, Kitty Pride, Rachel Gray, and Psylocke. How awesome is that exactly? It's just... So that is like, that's like my, my new uh, book that I'm looking forward to, so I cannot wait. Oh, and then also other stuff that was uh, ongoing that got that or that is like continuing to be republished and then has been brought into the Marvel Now line. Uh, I I started reading Daredevil from that. Issue, I think it was like issue twenty three is the first Marvel Now title, like that, and Wolverine and the X Men, like those two. I was gonna pick up Gambit, but I don't know. I might just because he's an X Men character and he's he's a pretty cool guy. So it's like, why not? It's Gambit. Like, you can cannot go wrong with Gambit. He's always a fun, a fun time. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically that's basically it. And there's also um, a limited series, Age of Ultron, going on right now, which I'm del- I also checked out. It is really good. Like, <laughs> it's crazy what happens. Like that. Like it. it it's a really good read because like I I'm not an Avengers fan, and like that whole first like sequence of stuff. Hawkeye is like total badass, just to sh- like taking people out, just one after the other after the other. And I was like, "Holy crap, Hawkeye, dude!" Just like jumped notches on my list of like characters you should not mess with. <laughs> He's like taking dudes out, like headshot, headshot, headshot with arrows. And I was like, "Holy crap, dude is killing it!" And then like even the dudes are fi- dude, dude, uh, even the dudes he's fighting are like. Oh, uh, it's in the future. Why are you still using air bow and arrows? We have guns, and just he's just killing them left and right. I was like, wow, that was awesome. See that, like that, and other stuff that I've like has happened while I've been reading these. It's like, wow, these comics are way better than the comics are in the past. <laughs> Where it's like, I don't, I don't, unless I was reading like Punisher, like you'd never see someone like die. And here I'm reading like Age of Ultron issue one. Hawkeye is killing dudes left and right with like headshots with arrows. So I was like, holy crap! And then, like even in like Avengers or. Wolverine and the X-Men, like, their main villain, I can't even remember his name, some kid, I think he's named Kilgore or something, the Hellfire Club kid, like, he's out in, like, the Arctic somewhere, I don't know where they're at, Antarctica, Alaska, it's probably Alaska, because Antarctica is Savage Land, but, like, him and the, I think it was Saber Wolf, I'm not, or Saber Tooth, I'm sorry, like, he's sniping with his, like, rifle, and you don't know what he's shooting at, and, like, he's talking to the dude, and he's all like, oh, well, something, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then, like, it cuts back. And he's, like, and it, like, reveals that he's, like, shooting people. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. <laughs> that was so violent. <laughs> he, was, he was shooting, or, like, he shot some person in the head. He's, like, they're dead bodies on the floor. He's, like, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're having some conversation, like, nonchalantly. They just, like, walk off, leave the dead body. I'm, like, holy crap. That was, <laughs> that was pretty vicious. <laughs> or some, uh, Yeah. I don't know. This this video is long. I lost focus. I completely forgot what I was talking about. But it, it, basically, it I was wrong. Everything I said about comics being terrible or sucking or f them, and like it's gone from crap fest to love fest because I cannot get enough. Like all new X Men cannot wait for the next issue. Uncanny X Men cannot wait until the next issue. Uncanny X Force. Uncanny Avengers. 
Wolverine and the X Men, just loving it. And then not only that, it's, it's, okay, I'm gonna say this just because I think it's like poetic justice what happened to me. So basically, what I did was I bought all the back issues of Ultimate Comics Spider Man, Ultimate Comics X Men because I really like that universe. And then I also picked up a uh, Punisher Warzone, where basically the Punisher is like taking on members of the Avengers one by one in each issue. So that was a pretty cool concept. I was like, oh, let me check that out. Um, I bought Avengers vs. X-Men Consequences, like all five of that, because it's basically a good um, like summation of what happens during Avengers vs. X-Men, like at least the aftermath of just like what happened and like stuff going forward. And since I'm reading all the Marvel Now stuff, which happens after that anyway, I was like, I might as well pick this up. So I got that. Um, I still have like a bunch of A plus X to read. I already talked about Deadpool. It's <laughs> like, why did I ever do that? And then um, let's see what else do I have that I've picked up on Comicsology. Uh, I picked up that last issue of Amazing Spider-Man because I was like, it ties directly into the Superior Spider-Man. So I was like, okay, that works. Um, House of M was on sale on Comicsology, so I got that. Infinity Gauntlet, I've always, I've always wanted to read that, and I don't have a copy, so I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll get that. Saga Volume 1, because everybody's gushing about that. And then, oh, that's the other thing, is like, after I've been read, watching all these um, comic videos on YouTube, uh, there's, like, a bunch of other, like, independent titles besides, like, just the main, the big two publishers, like, DC and Marvel, like, like, this book right here, Storm Dogs, like, I picked that up basically because I was looking for something that was, like, close to Mass Effect in, like, theme or tone or something and this seemed like kind of similar like it's, it's in space you have a squad and they're like investigating something so it's like it could turn into that but or just like just something like out of the norm or just like superhero stuff like just so sci-fi to me is like i think i'll just like check out a lot of different sci-fi books <laughs> and then i also bought like man transformers dude like the art in those books is so good like I, I read, I look at that and I just want to buy all the Transformers comics because it's like, it's the exact same art, but like, but like some, like, all the old stuff is like the exact same art. And like the newer stuff is even better. It's like, how is that possible? It's like, oh, it's like, it's like the, the, the character designs are just so good that Mecha is just like even more Japanese than like G1. And it's just, oh man, I, I need, yeah, I'll eventually probably buy all those, but man, they're, they're looking really good. Um, so yeah, but but also what happened, how I just came to this endeavor, was I picked up, uh, well not only did I pick up, but I picked up and I read Mass Effect Invasion, which takes place before Mass Effect 3, so it ties into Mass Effect 3. So basically, <laughs> if you don't know by now, I'm a crazy huge fan of like Mass Effect, so I picked up that comic itself, and... Actually, I think I'd won that one. Or I'd, I can't remember if I won that one or if I bought it. I, th I probably won it. I don't remember. But then I ended up buying all the other ones just because... I think I'd won two of them. Two of them I won from some contests. And then, like, there's there's basically four four or five books in the, uh, like, Mass Effect comics. So there's, like, Homeworlds, which is new. I bought that. Um, I got the hardcover. And then we have Invasion... Evolution, which is about the elusive man, and Redemption. So there's four books, and the Redemption's about Liara and like what she does uh, before Mass Effect Two, I believe. Yeah, it's like a prequel to Two. But there's that, and then like there's also some novels that are like just ex expanded universe stuff that I'm also gonna read. So basically, it was like uh, because of Mass Effect and the extended universe stuff, it like made me be all like, okay, because I'll check out some comics and. Well, it wasn't, like, the the main driving force, like, everything else I've been talking about. Like, none of the stuff that was, like, that I've been talking about was, like, the main singular thing that made me be like, oh, let me get back into comics. It was, like, it was, like, it all, it's, like, a perfect storm of, like, combination. <laughs> but, yeah, after I bought, like, all these comics on friggin' Comicsology for, I'm not going to say how much, but it was, it was up there. Like, they freaking launched freaking Marvel Unlimited, which is basically like the Netflix of digital comics and you can what is this let me look it up I'm kind of angry but I'm not cuz I'd rather own them so I'm not too angry about it so since I own those comics but like for like less than the price of what I bought all those comics for for I could have got like a year subscription to Marvel Unlimited and just like read all the digital versions of them anyway so all that stuff I was just gushing all over 
and like all the new stuff I bought. But I guess all the stuff I bought is new, so like most of this, like most of the stuff on here is probably gonna be old. So I, I guess it works out because I've only bought Hasabim and Infinity Gauntlet. Like those are the only two like really old books I've gotten that are, yeah, <laughs> they're they're on here probably. Everything else is like brand new, so I'd rather just get like weekly uh, issues, like keep up with all the new stuff. But yeah, um, that's it for this video. I was totally wrong about comics, and like freaking, I'm recording this in fraps, and I might just get take the audio and then put in images over it. I'm not sure, or if I'm gonna just like use the browser video I just made. And then um, I think I'll just like I'll also have like a weekly or try to have like a weekly um, video about comics and stuff because I have a channel with Taken which is monthly, but I want to have like a, a weekly blog so or vlog so I think that all that all fit right in where I can just talk about comics like every week and like the new releases and what I read and what happened and just I think I'll turn I think I'll have like a spoiler I, I yeah I think I I don't know if I'll be able to like do that spoiler free though so it's like after like first. The first one will be like, yeah, I'll just be like, I'm sorry, or I'm sorry, okay, I'm, I'm getting off topic. I'm, I'm trying to wrap it up here. So basically, if I do those, I'll probably talk about spoilers, so if you haven't read the books or whatever, then you might not want to watch them, because I'll totally just spoil everything. But yeah, that's, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, I hope that wasn't too all over the place. And uh, yeah, Marvel Now, you should totally check it out, or... New 52, there's other stuff, there's good stuff there to check out there too, like, just because I'm not reading it doesn't mean you shouldn't, I mean, there's, uh, Swamp Thing, Animal Man, Justice League, America, I think, just came out, um, I, oh, here we go, new releases, but, um, let me check this out on, on Comixology, because I'm not, I'm not sure, like, what all is out on DC, so we have, you know, some... Batman Beyond, Smallville, Animal Man, Batwing, Detective Comics, <laughs> more bad stuff, Action Comics, Booster Gold. So yeah, you know, or you know, if you don't, if you don't prefer the superhero cape and cow stuff, there's always like stuff beyond that. Like even Comicsology is like a really good site because you can just browse it for like certain genres. Because I'm totally going to go into sci-fi and be all like, hmm, what's in here? But yeah, there's a ton of stuff beyond just the oh uh, superpowers, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. So boring. If you're, if that's how I feel about that, just then you know there's all this other stuff on here. And Saga's like a really good read from everybody I've heard. So check that out if you're not into uh st ooh video game comics. But um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that's it for this video. And I was totally wrong about what I said. All that time ago on Facebook about comics, f him. No, f me, f Tekken, f that guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about ever. And this is just one of those perfect examples. Dude, dude was just like, steam out his pipe, <laughs> out his pipe. Just it was just steam out his pipe because he was all heated. That's yeah, that makes perfect sense. And I think I'll end it there. Ooh, there's Mirror's Edge comic. Mirror's Edge, Mirror's Edge, Left 4 Dead 2. Oh. Alright, that's it for this video. I think I'm gonna check out some of these comic book comic books about video games. I think that's my next uh, indulgence. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Have fun, good game. If the haters, comic books are awesome. Anybody else that thinks otherwise is just wrong. Laters. <laughs>